AI Matchmaking How Artificial Intelligence is Revolutionizing Dating Apps Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got an exciting topic for you. How dating apps have completely transformed how people connect. Whether you're a seasoned swiper or just curious about this digital phenomenon, you're in the right place. Dating apps have become a massive part of modern life. These little icons on our phones have changed the game, making it easier than ever to meet new people. But how did we get here? And what does it mean for the future of relationships? In this video, we will take a deep dive into the world of dating apps. We'll explore how they started, how they work, and the impact they've had on our social lives. Plus, we'll share some interesting stats, recent studies, and personal stories. Number 1. The Evolution of Dating To understand how revolutionary dating apps are, we must take a quick trip down memory lane and see how dating has evolved over the decades. Let's start with the early 20th century. Back then, dating was a formal affair. People met through family connections, social events like dances and parties, or community gatherings. Matchmakers often played a crucial role, especially in more traditional communities. In the mid-20th century, as social norms began to change, so did dating practices. The rise of the dating culture in the 1950s and 60s saw young people going on dates to movies, dinners, and dances. This was the era of sock hops and soda shops. Fast forward to the 1980s and 90s, and we see the introduction of personal ads in newspapers and magazines. This was one of the first ways to connect with potential partners outside their immediate social circles. It was discreet and, for many, an exciting way to meet new people. But the real game-changer came with the rise of the Internet. In the late 90s and early 2000s, online dating websites like Match.com and eHarmony began to appear. These sites allowed people to create profiles, browse potential matches, and communicate online. It was a revolutionary shift that laid the groundwork for the dating apps we know today. It offered a new level of convenience and accessibility. Recent studies have shown that online dating has become mainstream, leading to more diverse and inclusive relationships. A Stanford University study found that nearly 40% of American couples now meet online, compared to just 22% in 2009. Moreover, a survey conducted by the Pew Research Center revealed that online dating is prevalent among young adults and LGBTQ people, highlighting its role in fostering diverse connections. Number 2. From Matchmakers to Modern Apps, The Evolution of Dating with the foundation laid by online dating websites, the next major revolution in the dating world came with the introduction of dating apps. In 2012, Tinder launched and quickly became a cultural phenomenon. Its swipe right for yes, swipe left for no mechanic was simple, intuitive, and, let's face it, a little addictive. Tinder's success paved the way for several other dating apps, each offering unique features and matchmaking approaches. Apps like Bumble, where women make the first move, and Hinge, which emphasizes detailed profiles and meaningful connections, have each found their niche. These apps made dating more accessible than ever before. Users could create a profile, browse potential matches, and start conversations with just a few taps. It was made easy fitting seamlessly into modern users' fast-paced, mobile-centric lives. 
the numbers speak for themselves. Today, millions of people around the world use dating apps daily. Whether you're looking for a serious relationship, a casual fling, or just someone to chat with, there's an app for that. Number 3. Accessibility and Convenience One of the biggest advantages of dating apps is their unparalleled accessibility and convenience. Whether at home in your pajamas, grabbing a coffee, or on your daily commute, you can swipe and chat with potential matches anytime, anywhere. Dating apps have removed many traditional barriers to meeting new people. You no longer need to wait for the weekend to go out and socialize. Instead, you can connect with others on your schedule, fitting dating into even the busiest lifestyles. This level of convenience has been especially beneficial for people with demanding jobs, those who travel frequently, or anyone who initially prefers the ease of digital communication over face-to-face -face interactions. Number 4. Expanding Social Circles Dating apps have also dramatically expanded our social circles. In the past, most people met their partners through friends, family, or local community events. But with dating apps, your potential pool of matches is virtually limitless. These apps allow you to connect with people from different backgrounds, cultures, and countries. This global reach means you can meet someone you might never have crossed paths with in your everyday life. Whether you're looking for someone in your city or open to a long-distance relationship, Dating apps offer a level of diversity and inclusivity that was previously unimaginable. This can lead to more prosperous, varied experiences and a broader world understanding. Number 5. Changing Communication Styles Dating apps have also brought about a significant shift in how we communicate with potential partners. Gone are the days of formal courtship letters and even long phone calls. Today, it's all about quick, casual, and often playful interactions. These apps encourage users to break the ice with short messages, emojis, and GIFs. This casual communication style can make starting a conversation more accessible and allow you to get to know someone immediately without the pressure of face-to-face -face interaction. This new communication style has its pros and cons. On one hand, it can make dating more fun and less intimidating. On the other hand, the lack of more profound, meaningful conversations can sometimes lead to misunderstandings or superficial connections. Ultimately, how we communicate on dating apps reflects the broader trends in our digital interactions. It's fast, fun, and fits our busy lives. But it's also a reminder of the importance of balancing digital chats with real-world conversations to build lasting relationships. Number 6. Impact on Relationships Dating apps have profoundly impacted relationships, bringing positive changes and new challenges. On one hand, they've led to countless success stories. People who might never have met otherwise have found love, friendship, and even marriage through these platforms. Let's start with the positives. Dating apps have democratized dating, making it easier for people from all walks of life to find matches based on shared interests, values, and goals. Many couples credit these apps for bringing them together often against the odds. But it's not all smooth sailing. The very features that make dating apps convenient can also lead to problems. Ghosting, where someone suddenly stops all communication, is a common issue. The ease of swiping can also lead to a grass is always greener mentality where users constantly seek out new matches instead of investing in existing connections. Then there's the issue of superficiality. With so much emphasis on photos and quick judgment, there's Rees. It's, let's, easy to overlook deeper qualities that might take time to notice. 
This can sometimes result in shallow connections that fizzle out quickly. Despite these challenges, it's clear that dating apps have fundamentally changed the landscape of relationships. They offer new opportunities and experiences but require us to navigate new complexities. Number 7. The Future of Dating Apps So, what does the future hold for dating apps? As technology advances, the possibilities for connecting and forming relationships are expanding in fascinating ways. Let's explore some exciting trends and innovations backed by recent studies and research. One of the most promising developments is using artificial intelligence in matchmaking. I can analyze vast amounts of data from user profiles, interactions, and preferences to predict compatibility more accurately. This means finding a match who shares your interests, values, and communication style will become more accessible. Recent research by the Pew Research Center indicates that 32% of Americans have used dating apps. And many are optimistic about the potential of AI to improve the dating experience by making more informed and accurate matches. Imagine an AI that matches you with potential partners and continually learns from your interactions to improve its recommendations. Virtual reality is another exciting frontier. VR dating could allow users to meet in virtual environments. Before meeting in person, like a cozy coffee shop or a beautiful beach. This immersive experience can help break the ice and create a sense of connection that's hard to achieve through text alone. We're also likely to see a rise in niche dating apps that cater to specific interests and communities. Whether you're passionate about a particular hobby, belong to a unique cultural group, or have specific lifestyle preferences, an app will be designed just for you. This targeted approach can help people find meaningful connections with like-minded individuals. Enhanced multimedia features will also become more prevalent. Video profiles, voice messaging, and, until next time, happy swiping. May your connections be meaningful and your conversations be genuine. See you soon! Real-time updates on mutual interests can provide a more prosperous and dynamic way to get to know someone before meeting in person. And let's remember privacy and security. As concerns about data breaches and privacy violations grow, dating apps must prioritize user security. Advances in data encryption and privacy controls will ensure that users feel safe and confident sharing their personal information. The future of dating apps is not just about technology. It's about fostering genuine connections in an increasingly digital world. As these apps evolve, they'll provide more opportunities for people to find love, companionship, and meaningful relationships. A study published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found that couples who meet online are more likely to stay together and report higher levels of satisfaction in their marriages. This suggests that the algorithms used by dating apps are not just bringing people together but helping them find lasting love. Thank you for joining us on this journey through dating apps past, present, and future. It's amazing to see how far we've come and exciting to think about where we're headed. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences with dating apps. What's worked for you, what hasn't, and what features you'd like to see in the future? Drop a comment below, and let's get the conversation started. Don't forget to like this video if you found it insightful, and hit that subscribe button to join our community for more fascinating discussions on modern life and technology. And if you want to stay updated on our latest content, hit the bell icon so you never miss a video.